iron in the soul. What's up, YouTube? This is your big brother, Iron in the Soul. Back with another video, man. Please subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Share this video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about my comment. Get in the comment section and say something. Okay? Do something besides a fire symbol. Once you get, I know this shirt fire. Give me something besides a fire symbol, player. Give me some knowledge, some words, some feedback. Also, for you guys who are following me, you can also go to Instagram, follow me at the King Jabez. It'd be appreciated. King Jabez, the Goofus and the Fizz, all that iron and soul to the world blow, all that, as well as my website, theironandsoul.com, where you guys can book a consultation or you guys can get my book, Become as Strong as Iron. Guys, it will all be greatly appreciated. Well, let's get back to work. Let's talk about today clearing 50 days on seat retention. Man, if that's you, you're feeling pretty good about yourself right now. Once you get over that that hump. And I want to talk about a little bit, even today, you know, this is iron. We're going to have a little biblical numerology as well. What does number 50 mean? And why this is such a significant number for you on your journey? There are a lot of milestones on this journey. You know, and each milestone is important depending on where you may be at. Seven days is the first goal for guys. You know, when you clear that first week and you're able to get that first initial testosterone boost from that first initial time of doing that for some of you guys and then once you clear about 15 days this is when you begin to experience the sensitivity for lack of a better word in the androgen receptors which makes your body uh, or makes it easier for your body to utilize the testosterone you need to build muscle to stay strong to be focused to be assertive and all the powers we need as a man and then you have another milestone around day, let's say, 28 to 30, about 30 days in. Once you clear that first month, you know, you really are beginning to really get to that new level of growth, development, and experiencing the various benefits on the journey. What happens around day 50? You know, once you've cleared that initial week, 14 days, 15 days, 30 days, seven weeks, day 49. Seven is also a very significant number. It's a number of completion. So you have completed something. But what is so significant? What does Ion talk about today with day 50? When you clear that 50 cent piece, many men, <laughs> you hear me? like 50 cent in New York, many men can't do this either, by the way. So when you clear that 50 days, what has happened? So from a numerology perspective, let's talk about numbers for a second. 50 symbolizes a burden being removed. Literally, it's freedom. Um, in ancient Israel, with ancient Hebrews, every 50 years, there was something called the year of Jubilee, right? And this is when the slaves got set free. Slaves were set free. Debts got cleared. You understand? Um, it's a new beginning. And so for you guys who are following me, man, you get to about 50 days of retention. Brother, you, you're having a new beginning. You have reached a, I'm talking to you now. I'm going to tell you, what well, do you know? What I, you have reached a new level of mental clarity. You, you are now standing in your masculine frame. You understand? You, own, you, you see it. That frame. <clears throat> you hear me? 50 days. You have reset yourself, brother. So if that's you, that's what I'm talking about. That's what Big Brother I was talking about. Keep on going. If not, get there, brother. Let me give, let me give you a go. So you guys who are there, clear that. Man, keep going. You jumped over that hurdle. Boom. Keep going. But for you guys who are so, because the reason it's so important, a lot of guys who follow me, and I know this, this is not a judgment. This is what I know from you guys connecting with me, right? A lot of guys struggle to get past that first three-week hurdle, that first, like, 21 days. A lot of men get trapped right there. That's why a video I did a while ago about 21 days was so popular. It's significant. So clearing that hurdle and now getting to that 50-day mark where you are basically getting that monkey off your back, you're getting that freedom. That's what 50 symbolizes. It symbolizes freedom. Pentecost. The Greek word Pentecost means 50. And Pentecost is when the Spirit of God came down on the earth in the book of Acts. So you really become a righteous man. If you guys are following me, matter of fact, you're not following me if you don't want to be righteous. I ain't say you gotta be perfect. I ain't say you gotta be corny, because I'm not that's see that's why some of you guys don't like me. It's like, how can this guy be a Christian? Yet he hip, he talk about rappers, he be cracking jokes, because I'm a man. That's why. You understand me? I don't have to be a goofy because I believe in God. The Muslims ain't goofies. 
Oh, I don't believe in Islam. Let me talk to you. So I know you're like. I know you're like me. I don't care about not like me. I don't like you to be honest. If you if you think that way, all them all them rappers are Muslims, and they say what they want to say. They crack jokes. They have fun. They defend themselves. And as soon as I do it, you're supposed to be a Christian. I'm a man before I was Christian. Let me get let me, let's get that straight. You understand me? I do not have to be a goofy because I believe in Jesus. Let's get that crystal clear. You dig that part? So yes, fifty days is when there was a new beginning. That's when the spirit came down. And at 50 day mark, you really become this spiritual, physical, mentally strong man. That That is what has happened to you once you clear 50 days. You, you have this solidness in your body, your mind, your spirit. Just like Pentecost, Greek word means 50. The very first book in the Bible, Genesis, is 50 chapters. What is that all about? New beginning. Right? This is all numerology, guys. So when you clear 50 days, you, sir, have a new beginning in your path as a man. You should be happy about this. And, and if not, I want you to have this as a goal. I want you to say, you know what, Iron Man? I'm going to clear 50 days. <laughs> I'm going to clear 50 days this year. You understand? We got about four or five more days in April. You got May coming up, June. And guys, guess what? It's finna get hot outside. The women finna be out there. They finna be out there with them short shorts on. Them summer dresses. Them summer dresses and shades. Nails painted, perfume. I'm talking to you. This will be a good time for you right now. Get yourself lined up. You know, get yourself in order. Get that solid 50-day base where you are in your masculine frame. And guys... Why this is so necessary for you, why there is a need for a reset, let me talk to you now, is because all society has been based upon making you everything but that. Look at your whole life, man. Grade school, high school, the workforce, college, is all designed to a degree to make men punks. I'm going to say that. This is what I know from going to school, from going to college, from working in the business world eight and a half years. I got it done eight and a half years. All of these environments are always trying to tame the men. They always want to tame the line in you. They don't want you looking like this. Just like iron, just like a line. You see, do you think that's a coincidence? Look at that, man. That's God's plan, bro. He wants you to be strong, masculine, assertive. And society is built upon making us everything but that. And I don't know how it is in other countries, guys. You guys can comment for me if you want to. But I know how it is in here in America. America has the chessboard set where if you don't play game, play ball the way they want you to, they can mess your money up. They can take your house from you. And because the court says everything is against the man, to be honest. You know I know that. It's all against us. It's all designed for you to play by their rules. Or they attack you. And so we have been conditioned to be not necessarily feminine all the way, but to be a, just a little more gentle. Yeah, we don't want you to be too assertive, right? We don't want you to be too strong. You got to be careful becoming too cool. You know, all that type of dumb stuff. We, we got a problem with that. And, and that's because this world is not designed for a bunch of strong men. They don't like that. Now, if you're the type of guy that's more laid back and you're not, you don't have the sort of personality, that's fine. It's nothing against you, by the way, if you're listening to this. No shade your way. I'm talking about you guys who are assertive, who have that masculine, dominant personality, and the world's constantly trying to tame you and make you something you're not. This right here will force you right back into your masculine frame. So many guys listen to me right now. You know what, man? You got to get on this journey. You know, you lost yourself. You let people punk you. I'm going to just say it flat out. <laughs> You know, you let other men run over you. I'm going to talk to you. Now, I'm going to get your attention. You let these women run over you. I'm going to talk to you about the women. Because they'll run right over if you let them. They will run right over you. You hear me? And so, when you get on this, and, and furthermore, the deeper you get into your journey, they're going to start testing you. Because they feel that, that energy coming from you. They feel that um, regal energy. That's what I want to use here. Regal. They feel that regal, kingly energy coming from you. If you are on 50 days, they feel you in coming room. You don't fit the days to see retention. You walk into a room. Women go start adjusting their clothes a little bit. Not all of them, obviously. But a few heads, they'll look up. They're going to feel something. Your vibe is hot. Your aura, your energy, it's going to shift the room. And so when they feel that, 
it makes them to begin to question their place in society, right? And whenever people have to do that, now they're going to start challenging you. That's where the challenges come from. That's where the shade comes from. That's where the disrespect comes from because now your energy makes me feel some way about myself. So now I feel like I got to defend my honor. Huh? This is the type of response you will create in people or reaction rather once you get this far. Now, obviously, you have people who will admire you and respect what you got going on and want to learn from you and figure out, okay, what does this guy got? You're going to have that too, obviously. People will be nicer to you. People will stare. All of that. But you have to also be prepared for people challenging because your spirit is different, <clears throat> excuse me, from most men who are out here. So at about 50 days in, you should experience a new level of freedom. That's the take home value from this video. Freedom, clarity in your mind. You now have this, this mindset of, okay, I need to get something done for myself. This is time to build my business. This is time for me to clear. See, you see, let me say this. Manhood, because you guys follow me for masculinity, I understand that. Manhood is your ability. This is one definition. You write this comment section, by the way. This is Iron Talk. Manhood is your ability to consistently remove obstacles. Put that in the comment section for me. I want you to put that in the comment section and put iron and soul. So when somebody go try to do a video on it, you'll know where it because these old, they're sitting around with the pen and paper. Oh, yeah? Let me write that down. Yeah. Good ball. It's your ability to remove obstacles consistently. That's a man. Whether that obstacle be a debt, did you clear? You know, it feel good. You got a debt, man. You clear that debt. You owe that money and you clear that. Ah, get that out the way. Get that off your back. You're in the gym. You clear that 315 on the bench. Boom. You pick up that 400 pounds on the ground, 500 pounds, wherever you at. Some of you guys, the gorillas, six on it. Boom. You, what are you doing? You're removing that, that obstacle out your way. This is, a, this is something in my way right now. Let me remove that obstacle. You're struggling to get your finances right. You pick up another job. What are you doing? You're being a man. You're removing that. You're getting that monkey off your back. And so if, if being a man, I feel like, I feel like you know, talking to you now, if being a man is consistently getting those monkeys off your back, what am what I doing? I'm getting them burdens off my back. It's called getting burden off your back. You hear me? Boom, boom, boom. Getting them monkeys, getting those burdens off your back. You understand me? Women problems, financial problems. You know what I mean? You're in the gym. You're constantly shifting your environment and bringing order to your chaos, right? Because we all have chaos. That's all part. Why? Because war is chaos. Life is a battle. Why, the way I look at it, one analogy I have for life, I have many of them, but one analogy is warfare. So in warfare, it's chaos, it's crazy, it's confusing. Things are all over the place. So your ability to be a warrior is to ground yourself in the midst of that chaos and stop picking those burdens up. Boom! Get them out your way. Get off me. You know, it's like you're in a ring, like you're in a ring box in a wrestling. Boom! Yeah? That's what it is. So when you consistently do that, this is when you become stronger. This is when you become more assertive because you're showing your worth to everyone in society. You, you are showing that you are somebody to be reckoned with, that you should be respected. And that's the way you, that's what happens when you get this far on the journey. So guys, a bit of take home value for this. What's the goal? Clear seven weeks. That's a solid goal. Clear seven weeks plus one day. Okay. Seven weeks, 49 days, and then 50. And this will help you to really begin to experience a new level of deliverance. Just that that weight. You know how you feel when you when you're wrapped in that PMO cycle? I haven't forgot about that. Even though it's been several years. I, I remember that. That burden on your back, that guilt, that shame, that dishonor as opposed to honor. See, guys, as men, we want honor. Right? We want to be respected. Right? So what you do when you clear 50 days of retention is that you are restoring honor within yourself. It don't even matter what anybody else think. You yourself can, you, you cannot, listen to me, you know, 50 days of retention, you're going to look in the mirror and feel better about yourself. I don't care what you say. You hear me? You're going to have a certain level of confidence. Your back will get straighter. Your voice will get a little, you got a voice like, all right, this is iron in the soul. You hear me? Your voice will be deeper. You will be able to make eye contact with people and not give off this passive weak vibe that makes people tr try to challenge you. You understand? This will happen. All of this will happen in 50 days. So you say, Iron, that's a good talk, man. How do I get there? One day at a time. 
It's that simple. If you're on day 25, man, keep going. I'm, I'm gonna motivate you. If you're on day 70, good, click 250. Make it 100. <laughs> if you're on 100, make it 150. Make it 200. Make it. I don't care. Hey, wherever you're in this journey, man, add 50 more days to it. How about that? So this is so. If you, I know some of you guys. Okay, Iron. So why don't you make videos about longer streaks? Okay, if you're on 150 days, make it 200. <laughs> if you're at 250, make it 300. Even 350. You hear me? 400 days. Wherever you may be at in this journey, this can help you to remain in your masculine frame. This is your big brother, Iron. So man, guys, thanks for listening. God bless. Be strong. Peace.